Gilberto and the Wind by Marie Hall Etz. I hear wind whispering at the door. You ooh, ooh. He whispers. You ooh, ooh. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a tree. Wind, oh wind, I say. Blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs. <laughs> and whispers. You, ooh, you, Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the shirts and twists the apron strings. And he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small. And Wind loves umbrellas. Once when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me and he couldn't. He broke it. If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, Wynne plays with that too. He opens it up, then he bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. Wind, oh wind, I say, and I go and climb on. Give me a ride! But with me on it, the gate is too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. When the grass is tall in the meadow, Wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over. But he always wins because he just has to run over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, Wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites way up in the sky and all around. But when I have a kite, Wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind, oh Wind, I say. I don't like you today. <laughs> when the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with Wind in the pasture and wait under the tree. And Wind always blows one down for me. Thank you, Wind. And when I have a boat with a paper sail, Wind comes and sails it for me, just as he sails big sailboats for sailors on the sea. Wee And when I have a pinwheel, Wind comes and plays too. First, I blow it myself <laughs> to show him how. Then I hold it out, or I hold it up, and Wynn blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings, and all I can see is a blur. Wynn likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles. I have to do that. But he carries them away up into the air for the sun to color. Then he blows some back and makes me laugh. <laughs> when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my hand. <laughs> when the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But then Wynn comes along and just to show that he can sweep them without a broom, Wynn scatters the leaves all about again and he blows the dirt in my face. <laughs> Oh, no. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Oh, no, wind. Then I'm afraid. I run into the house and lock the door. When wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze in through the keyhole, I tell him no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper. Oh, Wind, where are you? Shh. 
answers wind, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him, and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. Well, friends, I hope that you enjoyed our read aloud of Garbuto and the Wind. We learned about wind power and how does wind make things move. We are almost at the end of our OWL series. I hope you've enjoyed these books on movement. We learned some new words like balloon and blow and pinwheel and bang and burst and jerk and twist. These are some really amazing and concept words that we're learning. I hope that you enjoyed this book. I wonder what our next book is going to be about. The next one is our last one of the OWL series. I really hope you've enjoyed these books. Feeling blessed to do what I've been called to do. Teach Pre-K. Love, Miss Shelley.